26 of stone block three. Oh, I'm having such a blast here and just loving this pack. I have missed the old stone block days. That is for certain. So I'm going to get straight into Tinker's Construct today because I want to get into me. I want to make some alloys and all that kind of stuff. And I think that what I need to do to make that happen I think is this okay I think that's it I was checking over the quest book a little bit now my timer is going to go off on my phone here in the next five minutes or so because I have to change the laundry I am and you have to tell me if I'm the only one who does this I am notorious for putting a lot like clothes in the washer and then forgetting about it for like a day and then coming back the next day and it smells so bad I am the worst at that then you have to dry it and you have to rewash it the whole bit I'm going to remember. So I'm saying my I'm saying my timer these days when I do laundry. So if you hear that go off, well, that's what's going on. Okay. So that all being said, let's check out this quest. We are here into this. Now, I just made those two, as you saw, and I need to make a cast. To convert molten metals back into items, you will need to use the casting faucet and a casting table or basin. To choose the form of the metal, we'll take uh, ingot, etc. You need to use the cast. Sand casts are destroyed on use, while gold casts are reusable. Well, I think I want to sand cast actually first, because I want to be able to make ingots, because I want to be able to make alloys right away, basically right out of the gate. This is going to be the first thing I need to do. But before I can do that, I actually need to be able to make a better smeltery so i'm not too worried about that yet right now the first thing i'm going to do actually first above all is i'm going to make well actually this requires something it requires a cast can i just make a blank sand cast yeah i guess i can right just to like cross off the quest so let's just go ahead and make a blank sand cast which i will probably end up using at some point anyway but for right now we'll do that and we will check off the quest and maybe we'll get something sweet I got a stone paxel. That's actually not that's actually not terrible. Okay. So the next thing I want to do though is make a smeltery. And to make a smeltery, I need, well, I need to make all these things. And to make that, I need one seared brick, which I actually already have, and four ingots of copper. I think that I have that because I did a little bit of grind off camera. So I have a feeling that I have some copper here. I do. I have raw copper. So let's go ahead and put four of these in here. The other question I have is if this is going to smelt with a lava bucket. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Cool. Because lava is actually really cheap here. Lava is incredibly cheap in this pack. It's manual. You know, you got to make it manually for sure. But it's still, it's still very, very, very cheap. All right, now I know somewhere I have, yeah, I knew, I knew I made a couple of these seared bricks, so that's kind of cool. I really, really, oh man, my inventory space is so bleak, it's so bad right now, I, ugh, every single thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna have to make is this has got to go for right at the second, oh dude, am I just gonna have to make a chest? Let's just, oh, uh, it's so painful, my inventory is so painful, let's just make another catch-all chest, I cannot wait to get some sort of better management system here. This is so dreadful. Okay. All right, then. So we have this. I'm going to have to make a basin, unfortunately, just for this one thing, which I hate to spend all the seared brick on that. I am smelting up a little bit more grout. I have a little bit more, but not very much. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to put in this guy. Just drop one of these in there and click it. I think that's going to make a controller. And if it does, then I will be well on my way. Uh, so that's going to be this. I also need to make a seared tank for lava. Again, it's going to be pretty cheap. It just requires glass and seared brick. You know, seared brick's a little bit, little bit, little bitty painful here, but let's go ahead and figure out where this is going to go. I think for right now, oh man, I really need more spots, don't I? Do I have my, I do have this awesome, this awesome hammer. What a, what a brilliant quest reward this was. I mean, this was an awesome quest reward. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I think what we're going to do is right here. Um, can I just do this? Can I just do this then? Is anything going to get destroyed if I do this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some things got destroyed, but that's okay. That's all right. Is this completely full? It is completely full. Oh, what a drag. Okay. All right. Well, while I'm, while I'm making stuff, let's go ahead and I'm going to need this to make that. Can I just, oh man, okay, then this can make that. I'm just going to need another thing. I don't think I can make upgrades yet. So for right at this moment, we'll just do this. This will be just, oh, no, I want that. <laughs> this will just be for overflow cobble, like things like this. And is there any chance that I have torches? I do have some torches, so that's not terrible. Okay, we'll do, we'll sort this over here. This thing actually can go. I'm still using it like crazy, but for right now, it's just sort of in the way of where it looks like I am apparently going to be building. So let's go ahead and put this maybe... I don't even know, like, just sort of out of the way. Like, could it go? Uh, that's going to be that. Uh, how about over here? How about how about if it goes right here? 
we'll just do it right there. Since now I know that you don't need to actually put water in it. Now, the other questions I have is, did it retain the water? It did not. Okay, so we'll grab a little bit of water and get this thing working. Because, again, it's my only way to make clay at this moment. Eventually, I would assume that I'm going to be able to automate it. But for right at this moment, yeah, it's going to have to be sort of manual. So maybe how about two buckets for right now? And then I got to go clean up this cobblestone because this pack is not lagging at all yet. There's nothing in the world, but at some point it will. So let's just get in the habit of cleaning up our mess, shall we? Is this not going in? Oh, man, my nose is so itchy. I think I'm going to sneeze. I think I have a giant sneeze coming, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut it out because I don't think my mute button is working at the moment on my my OBS. Okay. All right. So we have this. This is good. I, I did do a whole stack of gravel just to get enough coal to actually smelt some things. So that's actually, like, really nice. So we have that at least. And I'm just going to keep kind of cutting down these trees when they go. I don't want to use the energy to cut this down. So I'm just kind of letting them despawn naturally and getting a few apples. Because that's the only... That's my timer. I have to go start some laundry. I'll be right back. Now, I want to try something here that I'm not really sure if it's going to work here. I, I, I need copper for a couple things. I need some, like, copper ingots. And to get that, I think if I put this in... I think I can do a full block. Because that's, that's only four ingots. I think it'll fit a whole block. I thought this would double it, to be honest, and it doesn't seem to be because I, well, I put in three. Yeah, it's weird. I put in three and now it's eight. I, so that's just nine? I, I don't know. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Hey, at least it's kind of fast. <laughs> at least it's fast, but at least I, I think this way I can make a copper block and, and kind of just go from there, I, I guess. I, I guess that's what we'll do. So let's see. If I can just do this, should fill up an entire copper block. I, I'm pretty sure I put nine. Oh, wait, there's, there's 12 ingots, capacity, 12 ingots, free 11 ingots. So I have one ingot left. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I do need, I do need this. I need the old vanilla copper ingots, which is cool. Cause the next thing I got to make is I got to make uh, something called a, a drain, I think for the smeltery. Yeah, it is a drain. This recipe being, being different is so weird to me. It's, it's I, I'm so old school and it, you know, old old dog, new tricks is, is what they say. So I'm still kind of learning here. But we're going to go over and put the, the smeltery right here. So I think I'm going to go. Uh, I mean, this is definitely going to move at some point whenever we get into, into building. But let's go ahead and do this, I guess. Um, what the? Uh, do I have anything? A hammer? I guess I'll just use my stone hammer. Okay, so let's go here. So that'll be three. I do want to do a three by three, like the old school tinkers three by three. That's not what I meant. Where I meant to put that at all. Is this gonna break it? Oh, sh geez, again, again that happened, man. Okay, we did that a couple episodes ago. We did that a couple episodes ago where I used the wrong thing. I used the wrong thing and I fell right, right through the freaking floor. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, let's just let's just fix it. I, I don't know why. Am I filling this in? I guess I am. I don't know why I am. I don't need to be. I, I, I guess I am because my inventory is just completely full again, like it always is. Ugh. I got another backpack for request reward. That's kind of annoying because it's kind of like all I get. <laughs> all I get these days. What am I going to throw in the ground? Cobblestone, I guess. Fine, cobblestone. I need this thing. Okay. We'll go here and... Uh, okay. This is going to be like this, I guess. I guess up here, because then this will be the actual smeltery floor here. Right. We'll do that. Okay. All right. So I need to make some of these into bricks. I guess I'll just make a whole, whole, you know, 16 of them or so. And then over here, we got to fix my, I got to fix my, fix my, my broken pickaxe. I didn't think this would just break. It's a, it is a stone pickaxe. Oh, weird. I, you know what? I kind of forgot actually. I kind of forgot that this was a fixable stone pickaxe. That's kind of cool. Okay. All right. Well, fine. So then we'll come over here and I guess we'll just fill in the floor here. I'm pretty sure that's still how this works. Smeltery controller will go on this side. And now I need to make a tank and a drain. So we'll put the drain over here, I guess. Right there. Should be fine. I'm going to need in the back. We'll do something like this. I'm definitely not going to have enough. I might. I might. Let's see. I gotta keep this place lit up. I do not want any mobs coming to visit me. Okay. What is this? Item drain. Oh, that's create. Huh. Eh, man, I don't know anything about anything. Okay. So we'll check the quest book and see what else I have left to do. I still gotta make a seared tank. So let's 
check out the recipe, seared. I know I could have clicked it in, but I forget. I forget because that's a newer thing for me. Okay, seared tank right there. So we'll do right here. And then I'll just make, for right now, let's go all of it, I guess. I guess all of it. Oh, that's totally the wrong thing. Okay, so then the other thing I'll have to do is I'll have to put in lava right there. Now, this thing should work. Yeah, it does. Okay, it does work. That's cool. The next thing that I'm going to have to do is first get some light in here, firstly. And secondly, I'm going to have to get some lava. Now, I can probably just do that manually again. I guess that's really the only way that I can do it. I wonder if I just click like here. Yeah, and just drop it right in there, right? And that should work. I mean, this isn't this isn't that expensive, right? And just do do this for I guess. Cool. Yeah, easy. Okay. Nice. I'll just fill that right up there, right? Oh, okay. That's fine. Alright, so we should be good now to actually smelt some some real stuff. Now what I'm curious about is I want to put in Hmm. <laughs> I, 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 this is only one ingot of copper, but I kind of hate to to waste it. So let's go ahead and throw in three. So this would be, if I'm right, this would be one, two, one, three, five, seven, and then I think I could do one more. Oh, it's out of uh, it's out of uh, power. Okay, then fine. We'll just fine, fine. I'll, <laughs> I'll just use this lot. <laughs> we'll just put this in here. I, 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 I don't, I don't care. Fine, fine. Where'd that, where'd that bucket go? Hey, over here randomly. Okay, that was a little bit random. Let's see if this smells up. See if I'm right on this anyway. I I, I still don't know. Is this going to give me one full block? I think it will. What are nuggets? Am I just getting random extra? Why am I getting... Why? Why am I getting nuggets? I shouldn't get any nuggets. Oh, it's getting worse. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. I already have this table. We're going to have to do a cast. I guess, just to get all this stuff out of here. So let's go ahead and do a cast. Now, I already made one, so I can grab wherever it is. I can grab my sand cast, and I, I'm going to need an ingot. So we'll put the sand cast right here, and then what I'll do is I'll put an ingot down right there. And then I think... No, that's not right. Is it right? Yeah, okay, so this will give me one ingot, right? So this is. A, well, I'm going to have to do this to get this out of this. Oh, this is... A little painful. Now, see, oh, what, so then I have to take it out? Oh, so you just put the thing down. Oh, I see how it works. So I just put the item down in the sand cast. That makes it. Then I take the item back, and then I pour it on. So where am I at now? Two ingots. I'm just going to waste the nuggets. I don't even care. Honestly, I, I don't care. Let's just do it, and then we'll be done with this mess, this disaster. <laughs> okay, cool. And over here, we are at 12. Wait, we're at two ingots, right? Basically, we have one ingot. One ingot left. I don't care. So it doesn't matter. I'll cut this off. Why? Mm, boy, I wish. Man, I wish. I wish that tools would work on this. Can I do this tool? Oh, I can. Okay, and that's pretty easy to repair. All right, that's not terrible. If I use like a tinker's construct tool, that's not awful. I can do that. Okay, so next, I need three, six, nine, twelve. I do have enough actually, and I have some glass. So let's go ahead and make a seared window because I think that it would be really nice to see what's in the front. Is it like that? No, it's not. Is it like this? I'm, I'm like, I'm over a million. How do you make, that's a fuel gauge. How do I make the seared, how do I make this? Seared glass. Oh, okay. It's, it's like that. Aha. Aha. I don't have any. I have, I have like none left. Okay. Time for more grout then. Do I have any of that? Any clay in here? I have a little bit, a tiny bit of clay, tiny little bit more of clay. Oh, a little bit more clay over there. Okay, maybe I can make some. Let's see if I can make some grout. We'll take any of this I have sitting around, any of that, any of that. Make the grout and... Okay. <laughs> Jeez, what a mess. Okay, and then while we're waiting for that to smelt, we can do over, do this. One, two. I need that back, please. Three, one, two, three. I need that actually. Two, one, two, three. This will just hold a lot more, which would be cool. And I would really like to have three three glass if possible so that shouldn't take all that long to smelt that i could actually separate it if i wanted to right there okay cool all right so while we're smelting that now i should have this quest completely done and i do nice oh we got chocolate cake well that's fun okay so now i actually have the ability to make alloys some you know some decent alloys over there i'm gonna need to take this table which i can't even freaking pick up 
Ay, 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 ay. And over here, I'm going to have this spot right there and right here. This is going to be kind of like the drain area, right? So we'll have one there. We'll have one there. And then I have two of these so I can put there and there. And then I can click on whichever I'm, if I'm making a cast or if I'm making a full block, whatever. That should be pretty nice to do. Over here, eventually what I'll do is I will probably move this up a block and put in a pump or something like that or move this, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Maybe another drain. But for right now, I think we are probably in a decent place with uh, tinkers. All right, so the next thing that I really need to get into is this. And to make that, I need to get into the mechanical crafter. So let's save this recipe because I'm going to access it quite a lot while I'm trying to figure out how the heck to do this. I need quartz. And to get quartz, I need soul sand. And to get soul sand, well, how do I get, how do I get quartz and soul sand? Now, to get soul sand, hmm, you know, I think you might be able to wash soul sand. So let, I, I want to know how you can get quartz. Okay, so to get quartz, no, quartz. To get quartz, there's a few different options. Well, if you have molten quartz, but you can wash it. You can wash soul sand, which is basically free, and I don't mind doing that at all. I need soul sand, and to get soul sand, here is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using a soul sand fire and using this uh, blower situation to blow sand through the, or you know, with the soul sand into that. I think that'll work. So I have to make a soul sand <laughs> campfire, right? A soul sand campfire. Man, it's been, it's been, it's been quite some time since I've made a soul sand campfire in Minecraft. So let me see if I can figure out how to do it. I can't, I can't. Maybe I'll search campfire instead. Okay, there we go. And can I just make it? What am I missing? I'm missing, oh, I'm missing my one soul sand. Right, okay, yeah. I, I'm i missing the one that I made. There we go, okay, it's there. And can we make this? We can, okay. Now, this blower thing situation, uh, I've gotta move it. I've gotta move it and I've gotta kinda turn it around just like the other way, I think. I think that's how this works. Yeah, the encased fan, nope, that's still the wrong way. Okay, so we're gonna turn it this way, this direction right here. That's still actually still the wrong way. Okay, let's try this again. Can I make it from over here? If I if I go right here, can I put it there? Is that gonna blow? No, no, no matter what I do, it keeps facing the wrong way. Can I place it right there? No. Okay, can I place it right here? Why is it facing only this way? Why, this is so annoying. Okay, can I, can I place it if I go right here? Can I do this? This thing just refuses. It just refuses to sit in any direction except for the, what if I place it here? Okay, fine. Fine, you beat me down, fan. You beat me down and you're refusing to turn any other direction. So we're gonna put that right there. Now I think what I'll probably have to do is build up a little bit of a sort of catch area right there. And then I'm gonna use my hand crank thing yet again. I cannot wait. Oh man, I cannot wait to automate this so I don't have to hand crank anymore. Uh, and then I think what we'll do actually is I'll get rid of this and this. And then I could use one of those big cog wheels I think, do I have one? I don't seem to. Do I have one in anywhere at all? Do I have a big cog wheel? No? Okay, then, you know what? In that case, I will just I will just make one. So, fine. Fine, I'll just make one. I have I have lots of this. Oh, I have one right there. Jesus. Okay, so we're going to do this right there. And then I'm going to do this right here. And I think that's going to work. Now, the next thing I need to do is get some sand, which I do have some. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and get a whole stack. I'm gonna need a lot of quartz, I have a feeling, so we'll throw all of this right in there. And then when I turn this, that big wheel, oh, oh wait, I'm gonna shift turn it. Oh, now I learned something finally. If you shift turn it, it turns the other direction, which is what I want, I want it to blow. And I'm thinking this, although it's gonna take all my food, I'm thinking that this is gonna give me soul sand, I hope. Oh man, let this work, please. Is it gonna work? Maybe I should have just thrown one down to test it instead of an entire stack. I don't know. The other question I have is if I interrupt this turning because I have to eat, does that stop it? I don't know that. Cause I don't, I mean, I'm seeing definitely different particles. Oh, 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 hello, hello, soul sand. Oh yeah, soul sand, we did it, okay. Now, now what I can do, I need to make multiples of these. I really need to make multiples of these badly. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash the soul sand. So that means this thing, got to turn it. Now, no matter which direction I turn it, it should face... It just turned the other way. This is this is the most annoying singular... What? Okay, now it's turned that way. Fine. 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 Let's do this again. Because this is going to turn faster, I think, with the big wheel. So let's do this again. We'll put, we'll put on the, the big gear. That's the little gear. We'll put on the big gear right here. 
and then we'll put this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drop in all of the soul sand, right? Oh, look how much faster that is. That, hello? Why did that happen? Oh, because I, I was shipping. You know what? Because I know why. I know, actually, I know why. But you know what I can do? Another option that I can do is I can take this little one here and let's see. I think this will work. So I can, and then I can turn it right here. Oh, nope, nope. That's this. All right. I, I can, I can turn it right here. Can you just, can you just place, yeah, right there? And then I'll do the crank and then I'll crank it this way. And that's going to turn it the other way, right? Although it doesn't seem to be going very fast. Maybe that's, maybe that's not the way I want to go. Maybe I just want to hold shift, to be honest. Look, really? Yeah, really? Okay. Let's try it over here. We'll put it right there, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold shift. Oh, that's way faster. Okay. All right, way faster. I don't know how anything works, but this should work right now. I will come back whenever this is all sieved. Okay, so we need to take a small little detour from what we've been doing because I'm basically out of food and yeah, it's getting bleak. I mean, I could keep on chopping down trees for apples, but that's not a great way to keep on living. So I want something that is a little bit better. Now, luckily through crooking dirt, I have access to a lot of things that I otherwise wouldn't have, but I need to actually start growing those things and all those seeds and all that kind of stuff that I'm getting. And uh, yeah, it's time for a little old vanilla farm. Eventually, of course, we'll get in some sort of powered system, but for right now yeah i gotta just sort of make a farm so i'm digging out a little bit of a nine by nine right here in honor of direwolf who i was watching a little bit and just making me laugh and yeah I, my first exposure to minecraft was actually modded minecraft i was watching um paul soros jr play the adventures the legend of hoodie i think with ars magica and that was my very first real minecraft sort of experience watching and i thought whoa this is cool because if you're fairly new to the channel i actually started with modded i didn't start with vanilla and then go modded i started with modded and then switched over to vanilla in time and i don't think that's the way a lot of people go but for me it worked and it made me very inspired to play this awesome game i didn't get into vanilla until much later two three four and right there is going to be the water block okay well fine so now i actually have this i'm gonna have to make a hoe and grab my bucket there we go and let's go ahead and just make a, I don't know, I, I don't want to spend iron on it. Let's just go ahead and make a free, uh, well, essentially free stone hoe for right now. Grab this and put that there. And I'm going to hoe up all this ground. Now, I in a really perfect world, I would get worms, but I don't think actually additions is a thing anymore. Sadly, though, that is one of my favorite mods. For 1.12, I want to say it was, because I've played that in a lot of those 100-day challenge videos I've done, and uh, unfortunately, I think actually additions, I feel like it's kind of dead, which is sad. Maybe the mod creator has moved on to other other things in life, but, but that was a great mod. I really, really love that mod. So let's check out in here, and I have some things. I got some beetroot. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I was hoping I had some beetroot, but I do actually have potatoes and carrots, so that's kind of cool. So I can get this going right here now. I unfortunately, sadly, do not have access to to bone meal easily, at least. I wonder if there is a decent way, or, oh, a water, what if there's a watering can? Watering cans are watering... I don't see it, and watering is, is not apparently a thing here, unfortunately. Watering can, really? Not part of thermal or not part of this pack, maybe? I'm not sure, but I could really use one at this moment. That would be really, really nice, but I don't see it, unfortunately. So, oh, I want, you know what? I wonder, I wonder if crouching works. That is possible. Crouching might actually work. I don't really care about pumpkins or melons or beetroot at this moment. So let's go ahead and plant this for now. We'll just plant all these and then let's see does this work does that working no i'm still set at zero boo boo on that all right well one more thing that i could do is i could grab a slab let's see if i have a slab made yeah there we go make a slab and and make sure i have light right here in the front right there light all that up okay well that'll be i guess okay for right now and just now i just got to kind of wait and let that go now, in the meantime, I was able to sim out a little bit more seared brick, and I probably have enough for, if I can find my glass, to finish off my smeltery, and that might be actually a decent place to wrap up today's episode. I think it's just this. Yeah, one, two, three. Let's just do that. Let's do that, and we'll put that. Thanks for telling me where it goes, buddy. Put that right there, and now I should have at least a two-tall smeltery. That's not terrible. 
that's not terrible. The other thing that I could potentially do is get some more lava, but I think we're probably in an okay place. So let's wrap up today's episode right here. It's a little short because yesterday was a little long, and I am trying to do one Minecraft day per episode in these. And I will see you all next episode right here from Stone Block 3. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.